Hi everybody, Editor Chris here. Uh, just a quick something before I start this. First off, don't drink and vlog. And if you do drink, make sure you drink responsibly. Uh, I did get home safely that night. I did take the train, but I also got a little bit uh, overly intoxicated. So I hope you enjoy what I was able to piece together. I'll see you again at the end of this video real quick, and I hope you enjoy. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm in downtown Denver. It's the first night of Oktoberfest. So why don't you join me and let's see what we can see. Now, the event itself doesn't start for about eh, 15 to 20 more minutes, but I wanted to be here right when it opened. Over the next few hours, all of this will be filled up with people. Yeah, most of them drinking. But as I wait for the first beer to be sold, this wasn't the first Oktoberfest I went to this season. I went to a much smaller one just last week. Here's some of the highlights. You know, we're starting at this one because it is a much smaller Oktoberfest, as you can see. I had to make my way down to the food first. Got your standard here. Ah, that's the most important. The beer. I went with an Oktoberfest. Cheers. I'm Chris. This is my first drink of the day. And just a quick look at the beer selection. Almost forgot to show off the beer itself. The thing I love about these little community events is all the little stands here. I mean, it's a nice one for hiking with dogs right next to, well, a bunch of fun stuff. And it's right next to some hot sauce. We have freeze dried candies. A nice little Halloween stand here. And shoe charms. Uh, of course, it's not an event without knives. And some more little fun stuff and bucket hats. Down at the other side, we do have some vintage posters. Of course, it wouldn't be an Oktoberfest without some fun stuff going on out here on the grass. Got some Jenga, we got some cornhole, and a nice little cutout here. Oh, now who would set the art on fire? Of course, if the authentic German food is not for you, they do have food trucks, including uh, well, some green chili burgers in there. And what would Oktoberfest be without bounce houses? Like I said, it's just a small community event. And this area here in Town Square, they host uh, numerous events throughout the year, including a tree lighting uh, during the holidays. Them a classic German music at this event, you know, such as cashmere. It has music from that classic old German band, the Beatles. I have to get rid of the alcohol I already drank. This is just a small community Oktoberfest. Why don't we go to a much bigger Oktoberfest? Take it away, future me. Eh, as I said, it was a much smaller one. This one promises to be much larger and much better. But first, 
we have to wait for the first beers. And they are slowly testing all the kegs. I think we're getting ready. The beer line has officially begun. All right, it's finally beer time. We went with a spot in Oktoberfest. Prost. A quick side note. They advertised a happy hour special of a free shot of Jägermeister with a beer purchase. They did not specify on the website that it had to be a canned beer. That made a lot of people very upset just now. But there's no time to dwell on all that. Not when there's all this food out here to try. I'm getting a little hungry. But I might have to get something here in a little bit. Especially some of that strudel. Apparently Oktoberfest offers cabanas. And uh, looking at these tables, they come with Uno and a deck of cards. Uh, just like at Highlands Ranch, they have a few little places selling their wares. Ooh, and schnitzel. So I guess I'm going to start off with some apple strudel. Because, you know, dessert first. Well, still have a half hour left on that false advertising happy hour. Uh, it might be worth it. I just wanted to get my first beer as an actual Oktoberfest. And a quick happy hour update. I was walking past uh, and overheard some workers talking about it. I asked them about it. Guess what? I got my free shot from that last drink. Prost. Oh, Jägermeister. But still, yay. The moral of the story is if something doesn't seem quite right with the promotion, Talk to a supervisor and find out for sure. All right, let's test and see if this uh, stand got the message. Another quick look at the beer list. This time I went with the actual Denver Oktoberfest. And, of course, as I'm waiting for things to really get going, let's just take a walk down the street. And we got place called the retro room over here apparently yeah, they have pickle shots nice little place called solids and stripes I'm guessing there's pool tables inside okay now that does sound interesting of course there's where I got that strudel and it was a good strudel might have to go back there get some potato pancakes uh, in remembrance of my dad. So, just a little bit of family history for you all. My dad, well, my grandpa, was an Italian soldier stationed in Germany during the war when he met my grandma. They moved to the U.S. when my dad was about two. Uh, he met my Mexican mom and, well, here I am. Apparently there's a place called Encanto coming up and suddenly I have the entire soundtrack in my head. Yeah, somebody just told me it is brand new opening today. And I think I'm going to have to try some of that in a little bit. Yeah, there's the menu. And there's the drink menu. Now I would say it's strange that a Mexican restaurant opens up during Oktoberfest, but we do have a sign pointing to Mexico City. Granted that Mexico City is a restaurant, practically right across the street from the new one. I'm gonna need to come out to downtown Denver and actually just walk around and check out everything there is to offer. I mean, this place, there's a lot here. And that's just on a two block stretch of one street. So Stein hoisting is that way. And uh, I wonder if that herb sign represents the uh, dispensary right up the road. Yeah, that herbs sign on the street just keeps pointing right to here. 
Hmm. Yeah, if you didn't guess, this is going to be somewhat of an alcohol-fueled vlog. Well, it looks like it's almost time for some music, and unlike Highlands Ranch, they might actually play some German music. Let's get this music started. What do you say? to Denver Oktoberfest, everybody! Well, our name is uh, Polka Polka, and we're so happy to be here. The very first band on the very first day of Denver Oktoberfest. Eins, zwei, drei, super! Zicky zucky, zicky zucky, oi, oi, oi! Zicky zucky, zicky zucky, oi, oi, oi! Zicky zucky, zicky zucky, oi, oi, oi! Check it out. We have cake bowling. Three, two, one, and go. Oh! Almost. Almost. Said absolutely not. So apparently you nobody has gotten a strike as as yet. The are on the Let's see if this guy does it. All right, come on, come stranger. Down to three. You're gonna throw at the orange line. Three, two, one, go. Everyone make some noise for Bryce real quick. Stacking those kegs so nice for us. Yeah, way to go. All right. Is it possible? By the way, this uh, keg bowling is free to play. And if you win, you get a free beer. Oh, unfortunately, I was not filming when the last guy actually got a strike. Ready, three. Let's see if this guy does. One, and go. And no. So if you're wondering where all of this is in downtown Denver, right behind me is Coors Field. Incidentally, I did see Jimmy Buffett and the Eagles play there a few years ago. One of the only two times I got to see Jimmy play live. We're gonna keep things going with a little more, uh, a little more music. Who's ready for some more polka music out there? Woo! All right. Well, we're gonna play some anyway. <laughs> Strike up the music, the band has begun. The Pennsylvania polka. Pick out your partner and join in the fun. Pennsylvania polka. Well, it started in Scranton, now it's number one. And again, what do you think, everybody? Woo! All right, everybody, let's raise up our glasses one more time. Here we go. Repeat after me. Ziggy, zucky, ziggy, zucky. Oi, oi, oi. Ziggy, zucky, ziggy, zucky. Oi, oi, oi. Ziggy, zucky, ziggy, zucky. Oi, oi, oi. One, two, three, four. Drinking here, and when we're gone from here, all our friends will be drinking all the beer. That's right. La, 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 la. 
course, the uh, seminal New York City polka band, the Talking Heads. Well, it's starting to fill up around here. That's a very good thing. I love a good crowded Oktoberfest. Of course, I had to come down for the sign holding competition. Three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. And we're up. Who's our money on? Her, who's her? The tall one? Okay. Oh, she says no. No. Oh, my money's on me. I'm the clear winner here. She says she can't do this. <laughs> oh, talk to them about it. I can't do this. I don't know why I'm up here. Can can we give her can we give her um some more? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Come on, keep it up! No, yeah, you're not going first. You said you have to go to the bathroom? She wasn't first. We got five left. We got five. I believe in a big round. Oh, we got four left. Remember, three minutes. No. Down to three. Think about things. Strong things. Think about me. Oh. Congratulations, Libby! Yeah, this looks much different than it did just a couple short hours ago when I started this video. It's nice and crowded now. Currently filming this on weekend one, but you won't be able to see any of this. You can make it down here for weekend two. Yeah, just like any good, authentic Oktoberfest, it is a two-week party. Just like the original back in 1810. Yep, I was thinking about going into this place, but, you know, no. This is a very, very fun Oktoberfest, but... Honestly, my Mexican side is coming out just a little bit. I'm gonna go try out a concha. All right, so I'm trying the asada, barria, and carnitas. Right in here, and uh, of course the Oktoberfest. This is a brand new restaurant. I do love the look of it. There is an upstairs, and I mean, there's a full bar. But again, first day of this place, and let's check it out. All right, my tacos have arrived. Uh, I don't know which one is which. Try the middle one first. This is the first time on this vlog that these tortillas are cooked perfect. This is a perfect time. It's either carnitas or chicken. I want to say it's carnitas. Definitely try this place in downtown Denver. In Conte. You can't forget the name if you're a Disney man. Hi everybody. Editor me again. Uh, I apologize to that restaurant. I should have been able to do a much better review. I'm, I'm not a foodie, but yeah, I should have been able to do a better review. The tortillas were perfect. Um, the meat was moist. Um, the chicken and carnitas were both seasoned perfectly. 
the bardia could have used maybe a little consomme or maybe some onions or something, but it was still very good. And for $4 a taco, you can't go wrong. I hope that place does get a lot of business when it fully opens up. Uh, that was just a preview opening, just a soft opening with a limited menu. Well, I need to go back and see them again uh, when they actually fully open. Uh, as far as the rest of this video, well, as you could probably tell, I was getting a little bit drunk. So yeah, gonna end it pretty much here. I'm gonna throw it back to drunk me to say goodnight and end this video. But if you can't understand what they're saying, pretty much just thank you for watching and uh, come back next time. So I'm going to end it here on this very drunk vlog. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.